Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do a quick video on how to bulk thin lacquer paints. In front of me I have two different lacquer paints. I have the Gaia Notes Evo Surfacer and I have the Mr. Color, Mr. Crystal Color Ruby Red. Now I prefer to bulk thin my paints uh, as I primarily airbrush and in doing this process it makes for very minimal waste on the paint you get more out of your paint and you know when it comes time to paint after you've done this process it's so much quicker and easier to start painting because you just grab one you shake it and you get it blended up real good put it in your airbrush and go now what you will need to do the process that I do is some sort of measuring device a sharpie your paints of course and plastic bottle, I use the HDPE plastic bottles. Um, I got it off of Amazon. They are Kelka, and these are four ounce. And the inside actually has a seal in the cap that keeps everything contained and no mess. And you will also need a hair dryer and these little metal balls. You can get them at hobby stores. Uh, they're just little metal ball. You put it down in the paint for whenever you shake it up. It just adds an agitator to it. Now, next, we will talk about the different, type of, different types of thinners and which ones to use. So now we have our thinners sitting in front of us. Now, as you can see, I have way more Gaia Notes thinners than I do Mr. Color Thinners. Uh, Mr. Color Thinner is a leveling thinner. It already has retarder in the thinner to make it where it dries a little bit slower and makes it where it, the paint will literally self-level as it dries for a smoother finish. Now, this is an amazing thinner. By far, one of the best thinners I've ever used. But Guy Notes has different thinners for different paints. Now, this is their standard thinner it's just Gaia Color Thinner, and you can buy the retarder to go with it to combine it to make something similar to this. But Gaia Notes already has something similar to it in the form of their Moderate Thinner. Moderate Thinner is the one that I primarily use for my normal day-to-day -day usage. Um, it has a fragrance put in it, so it's not as harsh smelling as the rest of them even though i'm wearing a respirator still at the end of the day it does smell a little less harsh but it also has the added retarder in it already kind of like the leveling thinner here and does you know similar things now this is the pro use thinner by guy notes and that is made for thinning nazca uh surfacer mechanical surfacer it's supposed to make it where it has a tougher uh, coat and scratch resistant and things like that. And then they also have the Metallic Master, which I use for thinning the metallic paints that I have. It gives, it helps with the metallics, it helps with the shine and the shimmer and everything, and I find it does actually help. Now that we've seen what types of thinners I'm going to use for the Mr. Color, I'll be using the Mr. Leveling Thinner, and for the Gaia Notes, I'll be using the Moderate Thinner. And before I move on from the thinners themselves, I figured I would add this in just in case anybody was curious on the ratios for this. You can add 10% of Retarder Max into this thinner to add to your paints. So you would subtract 10% of the volumes that you would be using for this and add in 10% of the retarder max to make it into a more self-leveling thinner. Okay, so the first step that I always do is remove the labels and transfer them to the new bottle. To do so, the easiest way I've found is to take the hair dryer and heat up the surface of 
the label, which will in turn loosen up the adhesive behind the label, making it where you can remove it easier without, uh, you know, the having residue all over the bottle and helping adhere to the new bottle. And you simply transfer it over to the other bottle. And any part that may be damaged, you just cut off and move on. Okay, and once again, the part you primarily want is the center part. So I'll cut away the center, and simply apply this to the new bottle while it's still warm to make it stick right away. Now that we have our two bottles ready, now let's thin some paint. Okay, so now before we go any further, I have to say, this is still lacquer paint, so please put on some nitro gloves, or, you know, any kind of paint resistant gloves, preferably nitro, before handling the paint, as you don't want to get it on your hands. So here, as you can see, I have the guy notes open, and you can see through the jars now, because we don't have labels on them, and I could see where the top of the paint was on each of these. That's where the Sharpie came into play. I just put a mark where the top of the paint is on each. Now, with Mr. Color, I thin one to one. So I will only need to make one mark to refill the thinner up to. For the guy notes, it's actually one to one and a half is what I use for my ratio. So I put a mark at the top of the paint and I used my measuring device to see where halfway up the jar for that mark was. Put another mark so I will fill this jar to this line and then fill it again to this line. And that will be my bulk thinning ratio and one to one over here. Let's start with the Evo surfacer. Simply start by transferring all the paint that's in there to the new bottle. Okay, like so. And then we take our thinner And we pour up to the line. All right. Now we will put our seal back up here. Close the lid. Give it a good shake. Now we open it up, pull off the top, transfer it over. And this next part actually gets easier because you can see inside the bottle. So, once again, take a little thinner. Okay. 
Okay, let's see the line. Make sure we get all this out the bottom. Okay. Let me make one last pour. So now we have our one into one and a half ratio filled in the bottle. And what I like to do before closing it up is take two of these little metal balls, drop them down into the paint, and then put the cap on to add the little agitators into the paint so that whenever you go to shake it, those agitators, as you can hear, will stir that paint up inside the bottle. And there we have Gaia Note Surfacer thinned in bulk in its new bottle. Now we do the same process except at a one-to-one -one ratio with the Mr. Crystal Color. As you can see, Mr. Crystal Color's seal is actually in the cap, so it doesn't have one that you have to pull out. We simply transfer paint over, like so. Okay. We take some Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. And we fill it to the line. Okay, just like so. That will be all the Mr. Thinner that we need. So, we will put the cap on. Just like before, give it a good shake. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see all those little pearl flakes. It's very pretty paint. Give it a good shake. See that nice swirl? Okay, pour it in here. And as you can see, we still have some residue left. So what I like to do is I like to put this cap on and give it a good swirl. And then I'll transfer a little bit back to over here just to get that last little bit out from this side. Get it nice and coated. And once again, we add two metal balls, close it up, give it a nice stir, and there we go. That is a properly thinned Mr. Crystal Color paint. And with that, this will conclude my video on how to bulk thin your lacquer paints. I hope this was educational and I hope it helps you guys at home be able to bulk thin your paints and have a better experience when it comes to airbrushing as it leads to less waste in the paint and with these nozzles and everything you can just pour it straight into your airbrush and whenever you're done airbrushing you can just pour it straight back into the bottle and makes for a more pleasant painting experience. As always, a like and subscribe would be appreciated if you enjoyed this video. I will put links down below to anywhere that I buy my paints and thinners and tools and products. And I will see you guys in the next one.